you take control of me I'll do anything for a black queen to notice me Sing like I'm Joe C, even write you poetry You are living poetry, baby won't you roll with me So you can be my black African queen Baby you the stand up, baby you the answer Won't you be my black African queen Baby you the stand up, baby you the answer What's up my loves and welcome back to another video so today i am doing a topic that is really near and dear to my heart um if you haven't seen i am just ari's video where she talks about colorism then you guys need to go and check that out i will leave a link below um so that you can watch her video um y'all this really hit home for me as y'all can tell like i am a dark-skinned woman i have been dark-skinned you know my whole life like so my whole life i have had to deal with you know oh you'll be cuter if you were light-skinned you're pretty for a dark-skinned girl your skin's just too dark like I've been dealing with this my whole entire life, like from being picked on in elementary, middle school, even high school, like the dudes that I talked to or even tried to talk to, like this does something to your self-esteem. Like if you feel like the whole world looks at you disgracefully, then you feel me? That does something to you, like literally like you think you're not pretty enough no matter how many times people actually tell you that you are pretty you still don't think that you're pretty enough so it's just like well if the whole world is telling me that i'm too dark to even be in the same category as a light-skinned girl then that's going to hurt my self-esteem because who are you to tell me that like the level of confidence that i have now i did not have as a kid i did not have as a little girl i was walking around this world and i was mad and i was miserable and i was sad because i thought nobody loved me and you feel me my situation was already hard enough going through life with my parents and who they was so it's just like i didn't need this extra stress added on to me that the world forced you feel me like into our minds and stuff that you feel me dark skin Skin or darker skins we're not pretty and that is not the case like my dark skin girls y'all are beautiful and don't ever let nobody tell you different like bro you are beautiful always like i don't care if you about as dark as this shirt i got on like bro you are beautiful i don't care embrace it love it and even like i got cousins and stuff that are lighter skin and stuff like that so when we went out it was automatic like Oh, well, they're probably going to talk to her first because she's light-skinned. You know, everybody goes for the light-skinned girls. Everybody thinks that the light-skinned girl with the pretty hair is the number one choice. And that's not true. Not saying that you guys are not pretty. You feel me? I have a lovely, beautiful little light-skinned little daughter. She's got the most beautiful hair. And she came from me. So it's like, how can you on one hand say that I'm not beautiful because I'm not light-skinned? And then you feel me? Praise my daughter. And she looks exactly like me. That's crazy. Like, when the sun come out, I embrace all of that melanin. I'm all in the sun. I love the sun. I love what it does to my skin. Like, it just coats it so evenly. Like, you could never tell me now that I'm not pretty. So, I want to be here to tell every little girl in the world who's not hearing it, who's starting school right now you know you understand what i'm saying and and you you got little boys in your class or you got little girls in your class telling you that you're not pretty enough because you're darker than them or you're not pretty enough you you understand what i'm saying because your skin is too dark however you may try to phrase this you can try to make it sound nice all you want but it's not nice to say that like we've been going through this for years this is something that they instilled in us for years for years for us to hate each other and 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 we play right into it like we play right into the game that they was trying to get us to play in like we hate each other for what for what i'm beautiful you're beautiful your sister beautiful your mama beautiful like there's no reason for you to have hate in your heart towards anybody at all i don't care if the color of their skin like i've seen the most beautiful person in my life 
and they were like as black as midnight so at the end of the day it doesn't matter what shade you are like love yourself don't let nobody tear you down like let's just stop putting hurtful things out into the universe because what you speak into the universe is what happens in the universe so you and and understand that you telling somebody or you saying to somebody that, that the color of their skin defines who they are will put that in their mind you feel me it's called manifestation like now they're manifesting that th that, that we're not pretty enough because our skin is too dark. And I say we because I will stand up for every little dark skinned girl out there, every little dark skinned woman out there who can't stand up for themselves. I'm gonna stand up for them today and say that you will not say that to us. Never, we are all equal, we are all here together. I don't care what you look like, you shouldn't care what I look like. As long as your soul is genuine, as long as my soul is genuine, and I'm not being disrespectful to you, you not being disrespectful to me, why does it matter what I look like? Why does it matter? That's my my skin color does not define my personality. My personality was built. Yes, these insults and and and, and all of this down talking and negativity and stuff like that. It it ain't did nothing but make my ego deeper. I will not have that negativity in my life. Like if that's the type of person you are, and you can tell these people amongst your friends, you understand what I'm saying. If you got a friend that's mad that every time your other friend go out, she, you, you understand what I'm saying? She getting numbers, going on dates, this is that and the other. And she like, oh, she not even all that cute. She too dark skinned to be cute. You, or you know what I'm saying? They always got a little nitpick to say about another female. Like, that's not cool. Like, you ain't got a lot of kick it, and, and I ain't trying to keep up with the Joneses to kick it. So, I don't care. At the end of the day, I don't care what she looked like. I'm not sleeping with this woman. I'm not, you understand what I'm saying? None of that. So, let's just end the colorism. Like, I think all of, all the girls in the world are beautiful. Like, I don't care what shade you are. We are the most prized possession of the world. And if we don't take ourselves seriously, nobody's going to take us seriously. So, as always, I know that they get a little deep, but let me know down in the comments below what's your thoughts on this. Like, let's get this word spread. Like, let's stop the the negativity that's going on in the female community like we're supposed to be building each other up like supporting each other being by each other's side like we have enough to go through you feel me just trying to compete with a man let alone trying to compete with a woman so at the end of the day there's no need for us to be fighting arguing or anything they make the same clothes for all of us they make the same makeup for all of us at the end of the day the only thing different is that you came from somebody else's womb and I came from somebody else's womb. So I just want to say peace, love, and always comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.